If you are crabbing away from the runway on downwind, then you will have a tailwind on base and you'll have to start the turn from base to final earlier in order to prevent overshooting the runway. A common error is failing to anticipate the tailwind on base and then making an excessively steep turn from base to final. The steep turn increases the stall speed, and the overbanking tendency may cause the pilot to apply opposite aileron with sometimes disastrous results. For a crosswind landing, for example in a 172, we'll use 10 degrees of flaps on downwind and base leg, and use only 20 degrees of flaps on final. The 172 Pilot Operating Handbook recommends using the minimum flaps necessary for the field length in a strong crosswind landing. As always, any configuration or power change will require trimming to relieve control pressures. On final approach, the crosswind will drift the airplane toward the downwind side. There are two ways to correct for this drift. One method is to use a side slip and the other is to use a crab. It's easier to stay aligned with the runway using the crab, but this method requires a lot of judgment, skill, and timing to remove the crab and land without side loads on the landing gear. While the side slip presents a little more challenge, there is less chance of landing with a side load on the gear. We will use the side slip for this landing. After the airplane is on final approach, the upwind wing is lowered and opposite rudder is used to keep the longitudinal axis of the airplane aligned with the runway. The side slip is correct when the airplane stays on the extended center line of the runway and pointed straight down the runway. If the airplane is drifting toward the upwind side of the runway, the side slip must be decreased 